Hey guys, it's Michael back here again with another video. Please like and subscribe as it helps us bring you more content. Today we are discussing the top 5 treasures from World War II. We are also diving into the unbelievable story of how the Mona Lisa escaped the Nazis' grasp. Let's get into it. Aside from the Mona Lisa, one of the most intriguing treasures is the Amber Room, a stunning masterpiece of Baroque art, once heralded as the eighth wonder of the world. Imagine a chamber constructed entirely from six tons of amber, with gold leaf backing, embellished with mirrors and precious gems. This room was so brilliant, it could light up the room without any candles. The Amber Room was manufactured in the early 18th century in Prussia, and was a gift from Prussian King Frederick William I to his ally, Tsar Peter the Great of Russia. Installed in the in the Catherine Palace of St. Petersburg, it stood as a testament to the unparalleled craftsmanship and opulence of the time. But the Amber Room's fate took a dark turn with the onset of the Second World War. In 1941, Nazi forces invaded the Soviet Union. Recognizing the Amber Room's inestimable value, they meticulously dismantled it, packed it into 27 crates, and shipped it to Königsberg in Germany. However, as the war drew to a close, the Amber Room simply vanished. The theories of its end or whereabouts range from destruction during the heavy Allied bombings of Königsberg to it being concealed by the Nazis, its location dying with those in the know. Despite extensive investigations and searches, the original Amber Room has never been found. Today, a painstakingly reconstructed Amber Room shines again in the Catherine Palace, a tribute to the lost masterpiece. Yet, the question remains, what really happened to the original Amber Room? Theories abound, from sunken ships to secret tunnels, adding layers to the enigma that to captivate hunters alike. The Amber Room remains one of the most fascinating treasures of World War II. So buckle up, folks. We're just getting started on this incredible journey. Now, let's turn our attention to the legendary Florentine Diamond, a gemstone that vanished amidst the chaos of the war. The Florentine Diamond, one of the world's most magnificent and mysterious gems, carries with it a rich and intriguing history. This sparkling diamond, with its light yellow color and a staggering 136 facets, was a symbol of power and opulence, coveted by kings and emperors alike. The diamond's story begins in the 15th century in India, where it was initially discovered. From there, it journeyed to Europe, passing through the hands of various royal families. The Medici family of Florence, hence the diamond's name, were among its illustrious owners. However, the diamond's beauty was said to come with a curse, bringing misfortune to whoever possessed it. Fast forward to the early 20th century, the diamond ended up as part of the Austrian crown jewels. But with the onset of World War II, the gem disappeared, swept away in the whirlwind of conflict and confusion. Theories abound as to what happened to the Florentine diamond, some say it was smuggled out of Austria and sold to an anonymous buyer. Others believe it was broken down into smaller gems, its identity forever lost in a multitude of other diamonds. Yet, there are those who cling to the hope that the Florentine diamond remains intact, hidden away in some secret vault, waiting to be discovered. Pondering the whereabouts of this legendary gemstone has spurred many treasure hunters into action, their imaginations fired by the possibility of unearthing a piece of history. The allure of the Florentine diamond lies not just in its physical beauty, but also in its enigmatic past. It's a symbol of the tumultuous times it has witnessed, and the countless secrets it may still hold. Theories and speculations continue to swirl around this lost treasure, keeping its memory alive. The whereabouts of the Florentine diamond remain unknown, adding to the allure of this elusive gem. Next up, we have the Ghent Altarpiece, a masterpiece stolen by the Nazis and shrouded in mystery for years. This monumental piece of art is more than just a stunning visual spectacle. It's a testament to the brilliance of Jan van Eyck, one of the most influential painters of the early Netherlandish period. Created in the 15th century, the Ghent Altarpiece, also known as the Adoration of the Mystic Lamb, is a complex polyptic panel painting that has mesmerized viewers for centuries with its intricate details and symbolic narratives. But this masterpiece has a tumultuous history. During World War II, the Ghent altarpiece became a coveted prize for the Nazis. 
Hitler, fascinated by the mystic symbolism in the altarpiece, ordered it to be seized and brought to Germany. It was hidden in a salt mine in Austria, alongside thousands of other looted artworks, in an attempt to protect it from the Allied bombings. The story of its recovery is no less thrilling. Allied forces, nicknamed the Monuments Men, were tasked with rescuing and returning stolen artworks. They discovered the altarpiece deep within the Austrian salt mine, a discovery that was nothing short of a miracle. The Ghent altarpiece was returned to its rightful place in St. Bavo's Cathedral in Ghent, Belgium, where it remains to this day. This tale of theft and recovery highlights the immense value placed on art, not just for its aesthetic appeal, but for its historical and cultural significance. It's a reminder of how art can become a pawn in the games of power and propaganda, but also how it can survive and continue to inspire despite the turbulence of history. Even after its return, the Ghent altarpiece continues to intrigue and mystify. Recent restorations have uncovered hidden details and sparked new interpretations, adding another layer to its already rich history. This masterpiece, once stolen and hidden, now stands as a symbol of resilience and the enduring power of art. The Gent altarpiece's journey during World War II is a testament to the lengths people will go to preserve art in times of conflict. Now let's discuss the Rothschild Fabergé eggs, exquisite treasures lost in the chaos of war. These are not just any eggs. The Rothschild Fabergé eggs are opulent masterpieces, crafted with meticulous precision and unparalleled creativity. Each egg is a world unto itself, a microcosm of luxury, history, and artistic genius. The Fabergé eggs were originally commissioned by the Russian Tsar Alexander III as Easter gifts for his wife, Empress Maria. The tradition continued with his son, Nicholas II, who gifted them to his own wife and mother. Each egg was unique, containing a surprise within, ranging from miniature royal carriages to tiny precious sculptures, making them a marvel of craftsmanship and innovation. Then enters the Rothschild family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in the world. Their collection boasted five Fabergé eggs, each an epitome of opulence. However, during the turmoil of World War II, these priceless treasures disappeared, swallowed by the chaos of war, adding a tragic chapter to their storied history. The post-war years saw relentless efforts to locate these lost treasures. The search for the Rothschild Fabergé eggs has spanned continents and decades. It has involved historians, treasure hunters, and art enthusiasts, all united by a shared fascination for these exquisite creations. Over the years, some of these eggs have re-emerged. In 2007, one of the Rothschild Fabergé eggs surfaced in the United States. It was auctioned at Christie's in London for a staggering 16.5 million pounds, setting a world record for a Russian object and a Fabergé. Yet the whereabouts of the remaining eggs remain a mystery. Their recovery is not just about reclaiming lost treasures, it's about restoring a piece of history, a slice of art, and a symbol of a bygone era of grandeur and elegance. The Rothschild Fabergé eggs are a reminder of the cultural casualties of war. They stand as silent witnesses to history, their fate intertwined with the tumultuous events of the 20th century. Their story is a testament to the enduring allure of art and the human desire to preserve it against all odds. Our next lost treasure is none other than the Mona Lisa, smuggled to safety amidst the turmoil of Nazi occupation. This iconic masterpiece, with its enigmatic smile, became a beacon of hope during one of history's darkest hours. As war clouds gathered in the late 30s, French officials, recognizing the significance of preserving cultural heritage, made a daring decision. They devised an elaborate plan to protect the Mona Lisa from the impending chaos. The masterpiece was moved from its home in the Louvre, Paris, to multiple locations across France, always one step ahead of the advancing Nazi forces. This journey was fraught with danger, but the determination to safeguard the painting never wavered. This effort was not just about saving a single piece of art, but about preserving a piece of our shared human history. The Mona Lisa's journey during World War II is a symbol of hope and resilience. Let us delve deeper into the intriguing tale of the Nazi gold train. It begins as the shadows of World War II were starting to lengthen, with the infamous Nazi gold train rumored to be swollen with gold, precious gems, and priceless art. 
The origin of this legendary train can be traced back to the looting sprees of Nazi Germany, who seized immeasurable wealth from the territories they conquered. As the story unfolds, we find ourselves in the dying days of World War II. A heavily armored train shrouded in secrecy speeds out of Roklaw, Poland. Its destination? The labyrinthine Lower Silesian Mountains. This was no ordinary cargo. The train was said to carry a fortune stolen by the Nazis, a wealth so vast, so immense, it defies human comprehension. This wasn't just about gold and gems, but the cultural heritage of entire nations, encapsulated in priceless pieces of art. The train, cloaked in layers of mystery and intrigue, has since transitioned into the realm of legend. Countless expeditions have been launched, endless searches carried out, but the elusive gold train has remained just out of reach leaving no trace of its existence behind. But the absence of evidence has not stopped the relentless pursuit. Treasure hunters, historians, and hopeful enthusiasts alike are drawn to the allure of the gold train. Its potential riches, a tantalizing promise that has kindled countless theories. Could it be hidden deep within a secret tunnel system, shielded by the mountains? Or perhaps it was spirited away to an unknown location, its contents scattered and sold off in the black market? Or could it still be lying in wait, a buried time capsule of the war's darkest theories are plenty, hopes are raised, and then dashed, but the quest for the gold train continues, unabated. The Nazi gold train remains one of the most captivating unsolved mysteries of World War II. The elusive train with its cargo of secrets continues to evade discovery, fueling the unending fascination and speculation that surrounds it. As always, thanks for watching. Your continued support means a lot. Please like and subscribe so we can continue to unearth history together.